to what God will be doing. For some as you are praying, what you'll be receiving is impartation. Some as you are praying, you will not even know what is happening to you. Not every information must be communicated in words. Some truths are imparted. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't worry about those shouting. Pray in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it. You watch and see what happens to you. A few days from now, what you have received will start being revealed to you. And you will see that this is what happened in Koinonia. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. just pray koinonia we are soaking in the glory everyone pray in the spirit lord why is my cgpa refusing to rise what must i do i have studied i've done my best go ahead pray lord what do i need to do where is my finances oh god where is it where is the key to the next level what is the formula for my establishment lord how will you bail my family out do i just meet anybody should i meet a particular helper if yes what is the name who is the helper is he in zaria is she in zaria do i need to go out of zaria lord what is the thing is my ministry in zaria is it in nigeria where is it where is my breakthrough? Pray. Show me the secrets of my destiny. Go ahead. We are not wasting our time. I, I guarantee you. The Bible says the natural man. The natural man. Some of you in the silence, like the dew of Hammon, ideas begin to come. That poultry is my will for you. Don't stop it. That public speaking, you are about to give up, but it is where your finances is. Don't stop. It looks like your church is not growing, but you are called. You just need an upgrade of the anointing. Answers coming from heaven. Spirit of the Lord, we ask you, search for us the deep things. Search the mind of God concerning our destinies, concerning our families, concerning our ministries, concerning our homes. Lord, where will this budget money come from? There is no human way it is going to come. But I know that thou art the fountain of wisdom. It is in your light that we see light. Show me. Show me. Open my eyes. I am tired of doing what everybody is doing. I'm tired of failing like everyone. I'm tired of saying yes to just anybody. Open my eyes. Show me. pray just three or four more minutes lord where is the anointing where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer is it my room or do i need to go out of my house every night what is the timing what is my time of receiving revelation from you is there a unique time you want to give me from 12 to 2 every day is it a time you are giving me it may not be so for everybody but what time have you allocated for my visitation do i need to fast once every day
do I need to go on a drive fast? What do I need to do? Do I need to dance for seven days? Show me, oh God, there has to be a way out. Why are my heavens closed? Why do I fast and pray and yet nothing happens? Why are the nine graduates in my family jobless? Show me. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Two more minutes. Go ahead and pray. Open my mind. Open my mind. Open my mind. There is a way out. There is a way to the wealthy place. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to influence. There is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a path which no fowl knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not trodden there. Show me, oh God, these mystery paths in the spirit, these virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread. Open my eyes, oh God, like a two-edged sword, and let me see the path a mark for my destiny. Just be silent, everyone. Just be silent. Just be as silent as you can. Wherever you are, just be silent. The Lord is putting something in your spirit. Be still and know. Be still and receive. Be still and hear. Be still and enter. Be still and you will know. Just be silent for two or three minutes. God is doing something in your life. Answers coming as words, as impartations. Be still. Some of you, God will be saying, don't waste your time in that direction. That's not the path for your life. Don't waste your time. Be still. Some of you, God will be telling you the change will not come in one day. Just be patient. I will visit your family, but it will take time. Please be patient. Just be patient with me a few minutes and we're done. Be patient. Answers are coming. Think on your business while you are standing. Think on your family while you are standing. Think on your ministry while you are standing. Answers are coming from the throne. Coming from the throne. God is telling you, I will raise help for you. It will not be with your resources that you will make this happen. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. This sickness is not unto death. This sickness is not unto death. I will give thee health and cure. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will. It is true that the healing for you. The ministry, the healing ministry, you will walk in it. It is true that the healing ministry is just be patient I see sparks of light it's a picture of illumination you are receiving something in your spirit God is giving some of us clarity, 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 clarity.
in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the message of God that the same way God sends me insight by the angel of his presence I pray for you whatever alignment your spirit must take to not only hear his voice but receive of the impulses from the throne I make this happen for you now in the name of Jesus I make this happen for you now whatever position your ears must take in the spirit your eyes must take in the spirit to clear up the blurry visions to make sure that the speakings are clear I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the grace the spirit of grace make this happen for you even in this Islam supernatural ideas innovative ideas supernatural strategies the strategies that force things to work some of you this week will not be over until you begin to see the fruits of superior wisdom this week will not be over until you see things that will marvel you happening by the spirit of god manifesting by the finger of god you will apply the things that you are receiving and you will watch it work it was not supposed to work but because it came by his voice you will see it rise i say to you you will see it rise i speak to you that you will see it rise before the miracle service on friday some of you will only come for thanksgiving because before then that which you have received from heaven will work like fire will work like fire listen there are some of you the next meeting you will go for as a man of God you will be surprised to see the dimension of the operation of the gifts of the Spirit you will go for your meetings and God will give you epochal revelations you will command the realm of the Spirit at your beck and call in dimensions that you will be afraid of and that one experience will open the doors of finances open the doors of ministry increase membership bring increase for you listen there is a reign of wealth and prosperity that is coming upon this ministry you hear me as i speak i don't just talk about money just because no 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 no. there is a rain r-a-i-n of a dimension i have seen this thing many times in my visions a dimension all these miracle alerts are just messages do you know why because god wants to establish men fast to give us room to serve him there is a dimension i want you to write it write it down that there is a dimension brothers and sisters you will see things happen to men you now see that will surprise you i know this by the spirit one of the impartations that we are coming to receive on friday is this grace for financial exploits please believe it i'm not apologetic about it because we need it your heavenly father knows there are families that must come to just cry and say god if you leave us to ourselves we may not reach the end of this year i'm rounding up a precious woman one wonderful kaduna family that i love so much they left to church this morning while service was going on in this area thieves came and buckled their house because of the financial squalor you can imagine people now live and go for work they went to church they were praying whereas robbers buckled their house packed everything that can be carried pigs whatever i mean carried them um, i don't know they didn't give me the details of what they carried they entered came and saw their house scattered because of the wickedness of satan let me tell you this 
a spiritual demarcation has been made over this ministry and everyone connected from this grace you are totally exempted from this financial wickedness it's no longer poverty it's warfare there is a spirit behind it to make sure believers are rubbish to become nonsense to make sure pastors become beggars to make sure nothing is discussed in church again no salvation message only money message to make sure that people never rise that the only thing that happens in church is money and raising seeds the spirit of poverty please i want you to come on friday with your heart open while praying for the sick but some of this let's trust god to make this thing happen in our lives but you mark my word koinonia what is about to happen to men and women god has seen your heart you will see the sudden liftings of men by divine strategies i saw it in that vision people helping themselves and it's like a chain reaction within a short period of time rising in a way that is enviable he made this for our glory father we give you praise tonight we respect your authority in this house we respect what you are doing we take you seriously and we believe you thank you oh god for showing us tonight a system for accessing the deep things of god i pray oh god that you will grant us grace that as we pray this prayer we receive deep things from the kingdom and that grace be supplied to walk in the instructions thereof lord i am asking you to lift everyone lift everyone connected to this vision first lift us spiritually oh god let no one be weak in this place let no one be small in this place oh god let your sons and daughters be men and women of fire and insight and then i pray oh god that the things that pertain unto life you will give us the thing the issues of life may they be solved once and for all that we may have the time to serve you and declare your praises to the nations we thank you we receive it by faith and we declare that this is our experience in the name of jesus christ